Hi, this is Greg with the Pennywise guys. I have a real neat uh, install for a mini split on an RV that a friend of ours saw our YouTube channel and got inspired to do their own. And they did a great job. I'm here to give them a little assistance. And I wanted to videotape what they did on this job. And I want to introduce you to my friend who is a street evangelist and he has his own YouTube channel. So I'm gonna have him talk a little bit about that. Go for it, Rod. Yeah, hi you guys. And uh, I do owe a, a, a lot to Greg helping me on this project. My wife and I actually did a lot of the install just going off Greg's videos. And I would just really encourage you to look those videos up and at at the point, if you have not heard Greg uh, do the invitation as far as uh, looking to the author of life, I would encourage you to do that. I, I am a street evangelist. I talk about the things that Jesus Christ claimed about himself and about you and me and how uh, we get right with God. So I am so thankful for what Greg did and helping us out in finishing all this up. But it went really well. Oh my gosh. Uh, these mini splits are amazing. And uh, if, you're even, if you're even considering a little bit of doing it, I would say go all the way. It definitely is a great addition to our fifth wheel. Okay, God bless you. And, uh, right. I hope you check out his channel. Yeah, let's go ahead and show you the install. They did a wonderful job. Let's okay. get started. The uh, inside unit, the VAP unit, uh, was installed in place of the cabinetry that uh, my friend's wife, she uh, got inspired and cut the cabinetry out and it turned out really good. And they had the unit installed. Excuse the low level light here, but um, she's now finishing uh, capping this off she'll get that all attached and, and uh, cocked in there but that was a cabinet that went all the way across that she cut out on both sides so that, oh, she already got this one cocked in there that looks really nice so that's pretty well finished the unit fit really good there it is blowing out some really good temps okay and uh, this is the pioneer brand all right and we did the line set cover here going through the side cabinet if you want to check out my video on how to build line set covers they work really well we did a little creativity on this one we uh, went through and we had to use a 45 and a 90 to get the right distance out because uh, we had to stay away that goes through the cabinet we had to stay away at the bottom the framework down there that's the spot that we had to drill through we couldn't get it closer to the wall because the uh, the framing of the uh, trailer and so by going up through there and the 90 and 45 in order to go through the cabinet I don't glue things together I get everything measured and cut and I cut it in pieces see that the the, the coupler there and the, down through that hole so we have like 32, 33 inch lengths there, up through here, uh, yep, there we go, and then to the 90 and 45. So that really worked well, and she'll put a TV right here, and uh, that'll cover that hole, and then she's got the, uh, the, the cabinetry here. That really dresses it up nice, and uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the outside unit, but um, she's doing a restoration on this trailer. She's, I don't know if she wants me to show the mess, but... Uh, I'm tempted to, but I think I'll not do that because she'll probably get mad at me, but she's doing a great job of restoring this trailer. I mean, she had it all stripped out, the flooring, everything is being redone, the walls and cabinets and different stuff like that. So she's doing a great job, and I'm sure Rod gives her a lot of hand on that, but she's doing a lot of it, right, Rod? And yeah, she She's is. doing most of the work. And by the way, um, my friend Rod here is a street evangelist. He has his own YouTube channel. It's called Through Evangelist Eyes. That's T-H-R-U, Evangelist Eyes. Okay, check it out. And very inspiring on how to share your faith to others. All right, let's go ahead and check out the outside unit. Really unique how it was installed. All right, let's go check it out. All right, it's a surprise. It's not mounted to the trailer. This trailer is permanently parked. There isn't going to be any movement of this trailer. So they decided to save money and not build the custom framing to have the unit mounted to the trailer. So they bolted it to the concrete slab that the trailer is permanently sitting on. If it ever has to be moved, 
we'll have to disconnect the lines after we uh, remove the refrigerant and then they can move it to a new location reconnect the lines and re recharge the refrigeration but for right now I think this is going to be here for a long time and they just want to have it a comfortable heating and cooling and these things work really well we had that thing cooled down very rapidly and put it in the heat mode on a 78 degree day and boy it started cranking out heat and we had to leave because it was so hot so heat and cooling really good alright so you don't have to install on the trailer if you want to do something like this go for it it works make sure if you don't know how to use, do the uh, lines the, the line sets and the flaring and the excuse the, the airplane check out my videos on how to flare how to do the lines we had a problem with this one. This is the second time on Pioneer that we had issue with the quarter inch line. I was able to cut it and reflare it and it worked. But you might have that problem. So be careful choosing the right unit. I'm going to put out a, uh, a video real soon comparing the different models that I've done and my recommendations. Alright, so I hope you're uh, inspired to do your own and you guys have a blessed day. I pray that you are blessed that you know him who is the author of life.